Yo, what's up guys, my name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and welcome to the Vidal Cataclysm Escalation. I'm going to be showing you all five levels, Silent Assassin, and this is taking place in Paris, so we need to take out this guy while wearing a security guard disguise. So what we're actually going to do is start undercover in the AV center. I'm going to start as the tech crew. I'm going to bring along a lockpick, a coin, and a pistol. And that is all you're going to need. So from the very start, what you need to do is just go over to this area over here. This is where a security guard is going to be. So what you need to do is just go ahead and knock him out. Pick up this, smack him in the head, disguise. There we go, we've got the we've got the correct outfit. Now we need to go and take out a camera. So while we're over here, just go ahead and shoot that out. It's gonna be on the wall. Put it away immediately. And now we're gonna head into the room to the left. Now there's gonna be another person in here in this room, so that's why we're gonna go and knock him out so he doesn't discover the body. So we knock out the target first. And throw the uh, the baton at his head. Snap the target's neck, and then we now head to the exit. Just watch out for this camera right here. There's going to be a camera just as we exit, so I'm just going to shoot that. And now we can just run straight to the exit. So this is the last time I will be taking this exit because in level two, three, or four, and five, um, it's a little bit shuffled. So all the rules are a little bit different. But there should be. Added in forces out here, so you just need to watch out for those. So once we get the, to the exit here, we'll get a nice easy silent assassin rate for level 1. There we go. So that's how you get a silent assassin for level 1, so let's move on to level 2. And level 2... It says the security guard disguise can only be worn once and for 60 seconds only. Other than that, we've got the same target. So we're going to bring along the same equipment, start in the same location, and for the start of it, nothing's really going to change. We're still going to head into this room right here where the security guard is because we need to get his disguise. Again, picking up the baton, hitting him over the head, taking his disguise, and you'll have a clock counting down from one minute. But for the first part of this, it's going to be all exactly the same. Pulling out a pistol and taking out the camera that's on the opposite side of the room. Putting the gun away immediately and then heading into the room to the left. And once again we're going to do this pretty much the same thing which we did before. Take out the target and then knock out the other person in the room. What we've got to do now, the only thing that's different is just putting on the auction staff disguise and then heading straight to the exit. Again, watching out the camera. That's on the way out. So I, remember, I, I did previously say that this is the last time we'll be taking this exit, but um, I must be thinking about a different escalation because I recently did the Teague Temptation, I think it's called. And I'm probably mistaking it for that because there's extra cameras there. I can spot you on the way out. So that's a different escalation. So pay no attention to me. Just follow, follow what I'm doing. But yeah, again, really easy. Silent Assassin for level 2. Just get a confirmation of that. There we go. So let's uh, have a look at level 3. And in level 3, we have an additional target. And that is the only change that we have. But we're going to stick to the same loadout. I'm going to start in the same location in the same disguise. So our second target is going to be over here. So first of all, we need to take out this security guard. So again, picking up the baton, knocking out this guard, putting his disguise on. And once we've done that, we're going to pull out our pistol because we're going to take out the camera down the other end of the corridor before we go down there because we need to wait for the security guard anyway. So shoot that camera out. And then we can come through here. And we're going to wait for the target to walk towards us. And once he's past the security guard, we're going to shoot him in the face. There we go. Bodyguards move down the stairs. This security guard's walking away anyway. His body's not going to get discovered. This camera's taken out. So all we've got to do now is just head into this room. Take out the target. And then knock out the other guy in the room. Also put on his disguise to... Cancel out the clock. 
And then again, all completely done. So all we need to do now again is head straight to the exit and we're fine. We're done for level three. Really, really simple, really straightforward, really, when you just uh, think about it. But yeah, I think I think when I previously did this, I used to hide the body up there and everything like that. But it's completely unnecessary because no one goes back over there anyway. The security guard doesn't go back in there in time anyway, that's for sure. So once again, nice and easy, simple silent assassin. Now we've got that confirmation, let's move on to level 4. And for level 4, it says some things have moved, been removed, or added to the mission. Again, same equipment, same start location, nothing's changed. And I think what they actually do in here is they add another guard to the, the first target. But again, we're going to do the same thing, so follow the same steps. Take the baton, knock out the security guard, put his disguise on. Again, we've got a minute clock counting down. I'm going to pull out our pistol. There's going to be a new bodyguard over here now. So what we're going to do is shoot the wall after we open the door. That's going to distract him in the room. Open this door, shoot the camera on the other end of the corridor. And then the guard is going to come into this room. Take out your baton and then go ahead and knock him out. And now we can shoot this guy in the face. just like we did in the previous level. Don't do it too close to the security guard, obviously, otherwise you'll hear it. So we've got about 30 seconds left now. There's an extra guard in this room now as well, so we have to knock him out. So, knock him out first. Boom. Knock out the, uh, the other guy. And then, finally, kill your target. Take his disguise. And there we go. Again, really straightforward. Just head to the exit now. Nice, easy silent assassin once again. And we'll have one final more level before we can wrap up the video. Again, these early escalations, I'm not sure if they were early or not. I can't, I can't remember now, but these seem to be uh, relatively straightforward. But I think over time I've improved, so I reckon it's probably because I've just gotten better at the game <laughs> compared to what I used to. I think I was a lot slower than I used to go. And I used to be more uh, careful of hiding the bodies and stuff like that which is completely unnecessary now because I know the maps a lot more better but yeah that's an easy silent assassin for level four so we have one more level to go and here's what we have in store for level five level five it says the auction staff disguise can only be worn once and for 60 seconds only and we have to take up both targets now with a auction staff disguise so we're starting the same location same equipment nothing's changed but they switch up the targets, on which I'm not completely sure how that's escalating the situation. It's just, they've just switched the targets up. So we're going to run straight over here to where our first target is going to be. And we need to lure him in the room just as he passes the door. So open the door, throw a coin in the room, and he should head on in the room. We can't kill him unless we're wearing the auction staff disguise. So we're just going to grab this hammer, knock him out, close the door, take his disguise, then snap his neck. So we have one more target remaining, which we have to take out Alain, and he, he is just going to be in this room over here. Really is quite straightforward, I'm not completely sure why they flipped the whole escalation on its head like this. I mean, there's no one else in this room either. Um, but once you put this disguise on, you're home free. That, that, it doesn't really... If anything, this has made it easier, because I'm not really sure how this is escalated in difficulty. If, if anything, it's de-escalated. What, is that a word? I don't know. No. I'm making it a word. But yeah, it's just really as straightforward as that, really. So if you were struggling on Villel Fidel Cataclysm, this is essentially how you do it. Really simple, really straightforward. And if you are wondering, I am going to get through all of the escalations that are in Hitman 3, even if they are, like, old ones. They are going to be a little bit different to uh, the old maps, the old games, I should say. And there's no reason not to cover them anymore because there's no, uh, there's no reason not to. Is what I'm saying. So I should be getting through an escalation each and every day. I'll just work my way through the maps one by one. So I think we have a couple more left for Paris. We have the Corky Commotion and we have the Teak Temptation. And then I can move on to Sapienza then. But that is a nice, easy, silent assassin for all the five levels there. 
I really do hope that's helped you out. So let's go wrap up the video now. So again, thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if it helped you out. Subscribe if you want to the channel. Hit the bell notification to notify of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. Also in the description, there's going to be a full playlist of Hitman 3 Escalations that I've covered so far. So you want to check that out if you want to. And uh, yeah, big shout out to all my Psycho Assassin members. Paul Lilly, Big D, Bedry, Argel, Mark David, Constantine, and the Crazy Jesus will come in top tier Psycho Assassin members. If you want your name read out as well, uh, they will be updated every month. So if you want to become a Psycho Assassin member, your name will be shouted out in March. So yeah, go ahead and do that if you wanted to. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.